Hi everyone, welcome back. We are here for CC Cycle 1 and this is week 16. For math today, we are moving from our metric measurements and we are going to start learning about area formulas for shapes. And so for the next four weeks, we will sing to the same tune, 99 bottles. And this week we're learning the tune for a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle equals the length times the width. And so the tune sounds like this. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. And then the following weeks sound like this. The area of a square equals the length of its side squared. And then we continue. The area of a triangle equals one half base times height. The area of a circle equals pi 3.14 times the radius squared. And that is how we're gonna cover all of our area formulas for the next four weeks. But this week is just the area of a rectangle equals length times width. And if you want to in class, you could bring in an actual rectangle cut out in uh, construction paper or anything that would be fun. And then just point to the length and the width as you sing the song several times. And that's how we do math. For English, we are moving on to our second part of helping verbs. So last week we had do, does, did. This week it is has, have, had. And the tune for that is helping verbs, helping verbs, helping verbs are do, does, did, has, have, had, may, must, might, should, could, would, and shall, will, can. And what we've been doing in class is singing the entire song just because it's drilling it in and it's kind of hard not to. But when we sing that portion for this week, we say it a little louder than how we say the other three verbs for other weeks, so. Um, hopefully that helps. For history, we have tell me about the civilizations of Mesoamerica. So for this, we're going to be doing some hand motions. And one of the things I love about history is that we can use these hand these motions and incorporate ASL sign language. And a lot of times it's repeating the sign language motions that we already have used in previous weeks from our timeline. So it's a good way to kind of reinforce those motions and what they mean. For history. So this week we have some that repeat quite a bit and so I'm going to do it this way. So we have three of the advanced, we're going to move our three forward for advanced, so three of the advanced civilizations and ASL, the sign for civilization, is the same as culture. So we're going to do culture, civilization, so three of the advanced civilizations of Mesoamerica from 1200 BC to AD 1500 were the Olmecs, the Mayans, and the Aztecs. And those are the same motions that we used previously in our timeline. So uh, once again, it's three of the advanced civilizations of Mesoamerica from 1200 BC to AD 1500 were the Omecs, Mayans, and the Aztecs. And those are our motions for history. For Latin, we are doing again the first declension noun endings. And so last week we passed a ball around after we showed the pictures up on the board of what each of these noun endings actually sound like in comparison to what these letters look like. And so after we get the sounds down, we sing the tune that CC provides and we passed around a ball. This week we're gonna change it up a little bit. I think we're going to roll our action dice and we whatever we land on, whether it's hop, flying like a bird or hopping like a frog, we will sing the tune as we do those actions. And for timeline, we have the age of industry. So we're gonna move our hands together like gears. And then we have James Cook sails to Australia and Antarctica. And so for that, we're gonna make a J and a C, and we're gonna sail to Australia and Antarctica. And then the next one is American Revolution and General George Washington. So for that, we're gonna do the sign of two R's and we're gonna do a revolution all the way around. And then General George Washington, we're gonna 
kind of move our hands right here to symbolize the badges of honors that they wear on military uniforms. And so that's what we'll do for General George Washington. Then we have Madison's Constitution and the Bill of Rights. So we're gonna do the same sign for Constitution that we have in the past. And then the Bill of Rights is to put your hand flat like this and then go up like that. So the Bill of Rights. The next one is the French Revolution. So we're gonna do the sign for French. You take an F like this and turn it around for French and then Revolution. And then the Second Great Awakening, similar to last week, we're gonna put up two fingers and turn it around for second and Great Awakening is just like that. And the last part for our timeline is the Louisiana Purchase. So we're gonna go like we are taking money and paying, purchasing something. So the Louisiana Purchase and the Lewis and Clark Expedition. So we're gonna do the same sign we have in the past for expedition or exploring, and we're going to go like that and point. Lewis and Clark Expeditions. And that is all of our motions for timeline. For geography, we are going to to show the map and we'll either take out our dry erase markers and show them all in different colors. So here we have the Congo River here in red. We have Lake Victoria here in yellow, the Zambezi River in blue, and then the Orange River down here. And those are all of our Africa waters. I thought it would be fun this week if it's okay with parents. Um, and if you're okay at home, a fun way to make this fun would be to either do it with goldfish or to use the little mini Swedish, Swedish fish. Uh, and that will be a fun little treat to make geography exciting. And that's what we're gonna do for geography. If you don't wanna use food, you could always use your fingers as little fish or if you have little fish at home, little toys. For science, we have what are four kinds of volcanoes. And so for that, we're gonna do it to some hand motions to make it fun. And so we have the sign for a volcano is actually to come up and erupt and then come down like lava. So you could do that or you could go with what my daughter prefers and we're going to go like this for active. And then we have intermittent. So we're gonna explode and sleep, explode and sleep. So intermittent, dormant, just sleeping. And then we have extinct. And for extinct, we're gonna go extinct. So we're gonna make an X. Another way that you could do extinct if you wanna do something different is to actually do the ASL sign for extinct, which is to come down. So that is if you wanna be more official. So those are some options of ideas. That is all of week 16. I hope that is helpful. And I look forward to seeing you all for next week, week 17. Bye.